Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. I am so... I don't think you understand the level of excitement that I have right now. We are at Epcot. We finished the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. We are gluttons. Wow, we are. We were were, were, were We're so sad. And then it just rolled into the Epcot Festival of the Holidays, which is basically, let's just be honest, the Food and Wine Festival for the holidays. (laughs) So I'm just like, (laughs) keep it rolling, baby. I love it. I'm so excited. Our first day here at the Epcot Food Holiday Food Festival. Um, So we're going to try some holiday foods. Yep. Drinks. Some holiday foods, uh, some holiday drinks, some holiday foods, some holiday foods. I don't know. Whatever. We just keep saying We're going to try it. Um, but I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know what else. So stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Coming on in here to the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. Does anybody else love Minnie Mouse as much as I do? I don't think so. She is so cute. Look how cute she is. Everything about her is cute. Look at her little eyelashes, her little outfit, her little bow. She's making little heart symbols. What a cutie. I love Minnie Mouse. Her personality is adorable. Look, she did a little spin for us. Mickey must be down and out and sick because Minnie is hanging out here without Mickey. I, I don't think I've ever think seen just... I have never seen just Minnie without Mickey. Mickey overslept today. <laughs> Mickey was like... <laughs> Mickey was like, I'm tired, babe. You need to just go out there without me. I'm so tired, yeah, sleepy. Never, I, I really don't think I've ever seen Minnie. I've never so. seen Minnie, but I'm glad I saw Minnie without Mickey because yeah. I got to be, like hang out with Minnie and see how cuteness she is. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey, but if I had to pick anyone else in the world to be married to other than my Moog here, <laughs> it would be Minnie. It would be Minnie Mouse. Okay, she well, is I would adorable. You would choose Mickey. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. She's so adorable. I can't say it. She's so cute. Anyway, love Minnie Mouse. Oh, look how cute this shirt is. I mean, I don't know that I love the green color of it, but I love the message of it. Look how cute it says, my favorite place with my favorite people. And it's got Mickey and Donald and Goofy. It's so cute and it's only $24.99. If it was black, I mean, has anyone on this video ever seen me in anything other than black shirts? If it was black, I would get this shirt because I love it. But it's green for anyone that likes green, $24.99. It's a cute shirt I love the message. My favorite place with my favorite people and this isn't just Mickey and Donald and Goofy, it's all kind of people. Um, you know, your sisters, your brothers, your friends, your spouses, your significant others, your friends, your kids. I said friends twice, but anyway. Check it out. They have the holiday market here in the World Showcase where they have all these little cute dolls and stuff. I don't know, but they're cute. They are precious moments, you think? Oh, they are. And look, there's, there's Tinkerbell, there's Peter Pan up there, Cinderella. Lots of cuteness here happening. Yeah, it says precious moments. Yeah, they're all precious moments dolls, but with different um, different costumes and stuff on. Yeah. Look, there's a Donald Duck one. Check it out. Goofy and Donald Duck. Cute. Okay, check it out. We're our first stop here. We got Chestnuts and Good Cheer Holiday Kitchen, and they have a bunch of different nuts. I am a big fan of these sort of glaze, sugary, cinnamon glaze, fire roasted nuts. I think we're going to give these uh, fire roasted chestnuts a try. We'll see if they're any good. Honestly, I haven't had a chestnut and I don't even know decades. Ooh. TG Lee eggnog with screwball peanut butter whiskey. What? Okay, we got to get that. Okay. Wait, so we have, yeah, we actually have chestnuts roasting on an open fire here. Man, <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, she's getting it. Yum. You know, honestly, I don't know if I've even had... I don't really know if I've ever even had a chestnut. I can show you how to open one if you like. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. There's your bag. Thank you. I'm behind you. And then this is how we're going to open them. You're going to peel back the shell and the little brown piece, which the shell is edible. All of it is. Oh, wow, okay. Just a little extra fiber. 
Now, this brown part here doesn't come off. Like I said, you can still eat it, just gives it a really interesting texture. But you can break it, and then it'll start peeling like you peel an onion. Okay. And then it'll come off easier. Hi. All right. No, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm excited. Okay, our first stop on the festival of the holidays is the Chestnuts and Good Cheer uh, booth, for lack of a better word. Right here when you first come... I was like, <laughs> right... <laughs> right here when you first come in, the Christmas tree is sort of behind us over there to the left. When you first come into World Showcase, you head a left. The very first booth here is the Chestnuts and Good it's Cheer. That's where Hawaii used to be. For kind, the, yeah, kind, yeah where Hawaii festival. used to be. Yep. Um, so we wanted to try these chestnuts. She said there's like cinnamon and, and sugar and salt yeah. and I don't know what else is on these chestnuts, but I want to try these out. Check it I'm out. I'm in my hand already. I honestly, I don't, I don't know that I've ever had like a, like a, ch a oh, fire roasted not. chestnut. Um, and they said all parts of it are edible. So all parts. So I'm going to try the shell. Even she, the shell. She said she more said fiber. She said peel it off in the more brown fiber. part, but she said it is edible. So I'm going to But you know what? It. I figured, here's the thing. We're at the festival holidays. And I thought, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, <laughs> right? I feel like we have to do chestnuts. Yep. I haven't ever had them. So I'm going to um, go ahead and try the shell. Yeah. Tell us what it's all about. All I hear is a lot of crunching right now. It's just a shell. Um, so, and they were, they were only $5.25. Oh. $5.25. All right, let me try it. I want to try it, too. I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to eat the shell. I'm going to try, like, the inside of it. But, I mean, look at these. Look at this chestnut. It's got some sort of stuff. I mean, what she said on the outside. It's good. How was the shell? Did the shell have any flavor at all? Not really. No. I mean, it did cut because it had salt on it and stuff. Uh-huh. Here's the inside of the chestnut here. I like nuts. Wow. So it's good. I think it's really good. Um, it's very nutty. That's like the worst description that's ever been said. I don't know. I mean, it's good. I, don't, I mean, it just says, what's this stuff on the outside? I do get a little salt. It's salt, right? Yeah. Is there sugar? I don't taste the sugar. It's I don't good. taste the sugar at all. It just tastes like a salty nut. Yeah. I thought it was going to be sweet. They did have cinnamon glaze, like almonds and I think pecans or something. Mm -hmm. Cashews, maybe. Um, so we'll try those on a different day. But, like, I wanted to try the chestnuts, and they're really good. I really um, want to, like, keep these <laughs> and eat them later. I think yeah, they're really Yeah, I feel like really I need good. to eat the shell. The shell's good. Um, it kind of just reminds me, like, if you're if you're the type of person that, like, when you eat a peanut, a salty peanut, and you just pop the whole thing in your mouth that with the shell, me. this is good for that. If you're the person that, like, opens the peanut and then eats the nut and throws the shell away, you can do that, too. Um... I'm kind of like both. I just like sometimes I want open. the shell. This one's kind of hard to open. The other ones were a little easy. That other yeah. one was easy, but this one was like, I'm like losing half the nut trying to open it. <laughs> um, but These are good. And they're hot. They are nice and warm. They were literally roasting over an open fire. Like I had to go to a separate, like where you get your drinks and all that stuff was one place in the other nuts. And then if you wanted the chestnuts, you had to walk to another <laughs> You like said open fire. Where you get the nuts and everything was what, like the other nuts. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the other nuts, yeah, like the almonds and whatever. But if you want the chestnuts, you, I, after we paid, we had to walk to like a separate area where they were actually grilling these chestnuts over over an open fire. So, um, yeah, I dig it. We had to pause the review because she's been opening that nut <laughs> for eight minutes. <laughs> No, I but do really, want to keep these though. I've never had a chestnut roasting over an open fire. I've never had it. I don't never. No. Now we have. So this is a cool experience if you've ever want, wondered like when you hear the song. Now you know. Um, you should try this. Okay. So we also got Da da da. Da da da. I wasn't going to, but he was like, There's yeah, like a little go. cinnamon stick in here. Eh, let's see if I can get it. This is the eggnog. It's eleven dollars because it's the alcoholic eggnog, and it's got a peanut butter whiskey in it, which I've never had. I've never had either, but it sounds popping. And I've actually never had eggnog. I always just say I don't like it, but I just say that because it sounds gross. Because 
I don't like the name. Eggnog. I love eggnog, by the way. And I also love this. Yum. Hey, take it easy. This is my the, drink. I definitely <laughs> taste the peanut butter. It's like, good. good. It tastes very peanut buttery. Don't you think? It's so good. Yeah. I definitely taste a little bit of the peanut butter and the eggnog flavor. It was $11, so it's pretty expensive, but it does have the uh, the peanut butter whiskey in it. Yeah. So, I mean, anything with a little bit of alcohol is going to be good, but uh, I am such a big fan of eggnog, and I love this. I'm surprised there's not more people getting this. Maybe people just don't like eggnog, but I love this. There was nobody in line for this place, by the way. So, we'll see how the lines are for mm. the rest of the um, places. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the cinnamon stick. I don't think you're supposed to do anything. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to do anything. <laughs> Give it a little lick there. I don't know. You know what? Honestly, this eggnog with the chestnuts is awesome. Because you get this like saltiness of the chestnut and then this smooth, sugary sweetness of the eggnog. Yum! That's a perfect combination. Yeah. I think we I feel like we could just do this and go home. Let's just go home now. I really like this. The review's over. I we're we're gonna them. we're gonna take off. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the uh, Epcot Food and Wine Festival or the <laughs> the <laughs> the Epcot. Let's be honest. It's basically the Food and Wine Festival for the holidays. Uh, the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. Um, the, the bad thing is, is that every time I'm opening this, I'm sure it's really loud on the camera. How's that sound? Okay. That's not with the eggnog. It like, is perfect. I wish we had a way to carry them around because I want to take them home with me. We only have like three left. Yeah. We like ate them all. Oh, wow. Look at this. There's like barely any line behind me at the Italy Pavilion to get the uh, sort of Tuscany holiday kitchen stuff. During the Food and Wine Festival, this line was a zoo every time. Like it took us a long time to get the bomboloni and to get the uh, ravioli here because there were so many people here, but there's nobody here for some reason during the festival of the holidays. I mean, there's a lot of people here, but they're just not in this booth. So we're gonna, I, we're taking this advantage right now. We're taking this opportunity to get the uh, the fried ravioli that looked really good, so. So far, it's been awesome at the festival of the holidays. I'm really excited. It, yeah. It's really bringing back the food and wine festival, which I think is I probably it. my, it's probably one of my favorite things at all of Disney. I just yeah. love it. There are just, there are so many things to do here. You've got the holiday cookie trail, the holiday cookie stroll, which we're going to definitely do one of, uh, one of the next times we come, where you basically try five different cookies. And at the end of that, you get a special treat, which is another cookie. Um, I feel like we're going to have to take some of those cookies home, because six yeah. cookies in one day, it's going to be a lot of sweetness. Um, so that's coming up. Uh, we're also going to do the Olaf's holiday, it's called the Olaf's holiday tradition expedition scavenger hunt. Wow, say that three times fast, that's a lot. Olaf's Holiday Tradition Expedition Scavenger Hunt, which you pay $10 for, it's $9.99, which you basically go around and you try to find all the little Olafs that are hidden all the way through, all through the park. And then at the end of that, you actually get um, like a, a surprise sort of like reward for completing the, uh, sort of like the holiday tree stroll that's in the uh, Disney Springs. Of course, that one's free. So we'll see if the, the reward that we get at the end is any better than what we got. We got a little button for the holiday tree stroll. And then there's all these really, they brought all these storytellers back, which I'm really excited about. More more performers coming back to Walt Disney World. Again, I think that's the magic. So they brought all of these performers back and there's this this whole, all the way around the world showcase, there's all these different storytellers. So we've got the Las Posados celebration in the Mexico Pavilion. We've also got the mischievous barn Santa in the Norway Pavilion, which is the celebrate the season with a laughter of mischievous as the barn Santa visits Seagrid, an unsuspecting Christmas storyteller. Then we've got the Chinese lion dance in the China Pavilion. Then we've got La Befana in the Italy Pavilion, which is what we just heard over to the side of me. It says, come hear the tale of La Befana, the kind hearted witch who visits sleeping young children on the eve of the epiphany, which sounds really cool. And of course we have Santa Claus in the American Adventure Pavilion. Get ready for Christmas with Santa Claus now through December 24th. We also have the Daruma Storyteller in the Japan Pavilion. We have the Hanukkah Storyteller, which is actually between the Morocco and the France Pavilions. Then we have Père Noël in the France Pavilion. Visit with Père Noël and rediscover the magic of Christmas through the letter of a delightful child, which sounds really great. Then we've got Father Christmas at the United Kingdom Pavilion. See Father Christmas as he rings in the season, sharing the traditions of the United Kingdom in good cheer. 
And then we've got the Canadian Holiday Voyagers in Canada. So I'm excited to see that. Yeah. And of course we also have... Hello. And then of course we also have the joyful uh, celebration of the seasons there in the showcase uh, plaza there in the American Pavilion. And then not to be left out, of course, is the candlelight processional, uh, which you're definitely going to want to get in there early for. You're going to wait in line. There's a lot of different showings throughout the day. And then there is lots of dining packages. They've recently opened up some new dining packages because they were all full and they've done yeah. some quick service ones. So I think if you get here early in the morning and then go straight there and book one of those uh, quick service, you basically get a guaranteed ticket to a time of your choice. So you can come here, jump into those quick service, one of those quick service locations and pick, the, uh, pick up a ticket. So there's just lots of different things going on here. I'm so glad they brought the performers back. So we met a really cool cast member named Gabriella. Yes. She was so nice. We love her. Um, so uh, it's been like a great experience in Italy so far. And we didn't have to wait in line. It was like 10 seconds and we were in. So, yeah. and then when we were in line, they were like, we're out of the ravioli. I was like, no. no. But, but then I realized, I realized there was two ravioli at the actual yeah. thing. And it, the one that we wanted, which was the Mezzalun Crocanti. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or Probably not, not but correct. whatever. Um, but it is a crispy half-mooned breaded mozzarella filled ravioli. Well, I said that horribly. Crispy half-mooned breaded mozzarella filled ravioli with pomodoro sauce. So I'm excited to give it a rip. It sounds so good. And it was... What was the damage on it? I mean... Oh, look at this. And there's this pomodoro sauce. I love pomodoro sauce, which pomodoro is just a fancy name for tomato. But I love pomodoro sauce, and these ravioli look amazing. And it's only eight dollars and twenty-five cents versus the ravioli that was at the food and yeah. the ra versus the ravioli at the International Food and Wine Festival was really, really good. But it was eleven dollars. Oh my gosh, was it really? Or thirteen? I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, this is only eight twenty-five, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. So let's give it a try. I want to try it out. I'm gonna get one that's like all buried in the sauce. No, oh. I mean, come on, like, what? Check it out. It's good. I mean, right off the bat. Barely in my mouth, and I already like it. I like the seasoning on the outside of the ravioli. Don't you? Yeah, how was it without the sauce? It's good. But I still have a little bit of sauce, but mm. I, I, I like it a lot, because I'm not, unless it's hot sauce, I'm not like a super saucy person. The Pomodoro sauce is really good. I'm surprised you like it, though, because it's pretty tomato-y. I didn't have that much sauce. I'm sorry. I'm you trying have trouble to with your hair finger. there? Yeah, it's like blowing this way. It's blowing in my mouth. <laughs> so I'm Does your trying. hair taste good there? Yeah. So I'm trying to like... Can I just spit on you? <laughs> Not only was her hair tasting good, but she spit all over my hand. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it out of my face. Crispiness of the ravioli has got like a good flavor to it. And then they got that cheese inside, which is really like smooth and like creamy cheese. Mozzarella cheese. And the Pomodoro sauce, like... I'm very finicky about my spaghetti pasta sauces. I make my own sauces and everything. It's good. I actually like it a lot. The texture of the ravioli is so good, don't you think? Like it is so good. Wow, it's this is a two for this is a Yeah. It's been a home you run day so far. That's more sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna eat I'm gonna, we're eating the whole thing. This ravioli, what would you say? Nine out nine out of ten? Ten out of ten? I say it's a ten out of ten. I think it's a ten out of ten too. I think it's phenomenal. And then you want, and we also, by the way, we, we're, we're getting the added benefit of seeing the storyteller over here yeah. to the left of us. So we've got the, the witch super cute. Uh, in the Italy pavilion. She's doing a little bit of the storytelling and she's talking about how Santa Claus is like, she's like, I was delivering, giving presents out way before Santa Claus was even a glimmer in your mom's eye or whatever. So it's really cute. Um, so if you hear a little bit of chatter in the background, that's what that is. But you also got the Italian sangria, right? I did. I got the, um, what is it? The Italian red sangria. It has Italian. Chardonnay in it. Okay, so I took I took another <laughs> I took another glance at the receipt that I was looking at. I was like, oh, eight twenty five for this ravioli seems so cheap. And then I was like, oh, that was a cheese fondue. Oops, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the wrong receipt, yeah. and that was that was the cheese fondue at eight twenty. It was uh, twelve. What was it? Twelve dollars uh, for the ravioli. So again, very expensive for the ravioli. I feel like it should not be that expensive. No, it's good, but it. it so now I'm going to bring my review like down a little yeah. bit. It was a 10 out of 10. Now I feel like it's like an 8 out of 10. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Because it's because so it expensive. It's just, good. it's five. How many was it? Five? Yeah. 
Yeah. Five ravioli for twelve dollars. It's just so, it's just too expensive. They're good. Not for twelve dollars. I'm sorry. It's it's too expensive. So uh, so far. You should have like a full plate. Of two for two. For that. Yeah, two for two. We have the Italy Pavilion. I feel like being overpriced. Yeah. The Italy Pavilion is overpriced when it comes to the food, in my opinion. Um, yeah. But again, it is good in quality. Maybe I'm just yeah. wrong. All right, so you got the Italian uh, uh, red sangria, which was eleven dollars. Yeah, which I still think is a lot. I mean, it's kind of a big cup, but it's like it's eleven dollars. I wanted to get the sangria at Food and Wine. I just never did. It never worked out. So I thought I would get it this time. Um, so I'm gonna try it. It's good. I like the flavor of it. What's it taste like? Sangria, wine, and fruit. It doesn't help anybody. <laughs> I don't say drink it. Really? I don't like Green it. And berry. Ew, you I don't, don't like, like that at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. It tastes like wine. Yeah. And I don't like wine. wine. <laughs> I don't like wine. It's saying I don't know what sangria. What is sangria? I think it's wine and fruit and berries. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It tasted good, like dusty but wine I to think, me. Um, Eleven dollars is a is, is a lot for that. So once again. I need to get some more ravioli. Um, I don't like Italy the taste of that. is expensive. I don't like it. <laughs> it's dusty. Like wine, it tastes like wine to me. Mm. I don't like it. All right, so she likes it. I don't like it. It was eleven dollars. It's a it's a good amount though. There's a lot in that cup. So anyway, there we go. Moving on, moving on from into Italy to the next spot. Yum, cheese fondue and a bread bowl sounds good. Eight twenty five. Here we are at the Bavaria Pavilion. Um, we have Which is got... basically the Germany Pavilion. Yes. So they just renamed the <laughs> Germany Pavilion yes. to the Bavarian Pavilion. Um, and we have gotten the fondue cheese, and it looks so good. Check it, it out. Here. It has a, a like a a, lo a a mini loaf of bread. Can't really like tip cheese it. fondue. It looks like are those pickles or cucumbers? So potatoes there's some potatoes and carrots. Yeah, potatoes, carrots, and some, uh, I don't know, uh, zucchini or something. Yeah. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, it was $8.25. Yeah. $8.25. It's and, and you get these, like, big hunks of baguette. Like, it's in a baguette. It's like a bread yeah. bowl, but it's basically like a big baguette. And you get these baguette sort of honks. Carrots. You've got some potatoes in there, which I did get a fork here for the potatoes. Surprisingly, I got a fork. Huh. Um, but $8.25 looks awesome. I'm going to try it. I'm gonna do the bread first. And the carrot's good. And the fondue. Ooh, it's dripping there. The cheese is good. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Yum. Oh man, this is so good. Look at that cheese. We don't go to the melting pot enough. We need to go back to the melting pot. This just reminds me of the melting pot. There's one right down the street from us. Yeah. We need to go there again. I don't want to go. I don't know why we never go. Look at that. Who doesn't want that? The potato just lathered in cheese sauce. Yummy! Mm. Let me try the potato. Yeah, try that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. My happy dance is coming on here. It hasn't been out for a while. This is good. It's really good. I'm loving it. Wow. It's only eight twenty-five. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents. This cheese fondue. Yeah. This bread bowl. The veggies that come with it. It's very, this is a knockout. very well cooked. This is a 10 out of 10 Don't for think? me. This is yeah. a 10 out of 10 for, for sure. me. 10 out of 10. It's one of the better things we've had. For sure at Epcot. I don't know how I'm going to eat the actual bread bowl. Because huh. I'm going to have to eat it. Look at this thing. It's like a boat. Of like filled with cheese. Oh, I got that all over your hand. <laughs> Almost tastes like a Parmesan-y flavored cheese or yeah, something. Yeah, it does. It's like a white cheese with like a little bit of parmesan ness to it or something. Mmm. It's good. Yeah. And I really like the zucchini. All right. I love vegetables, so this is really good to me. All right, so I almost knocked the camera off the table just now. <laughs> but um, enough good things. I, I, enough about this. It, it's delicious. You've got to try it. 825. There's so many good things around here. We're going to keep going, but... This is definitely on the list. Check it out. Over here at the Germany Pavilion. We got the little model train there that goes around and around. But if you look actually closely here, if you've never noticed, the, see the little banners there? Those little banners, those side uh, banners there? They actually update these every single season to actually be the banners for whatever event is going on. So right now they're the Festival of the Holidays banners. 
and they were the food and wine banners before that. So kind of a cool little fun fact there. Well, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun at the International Festival of the Holidays here at Epcot. I loved it. What'd you think? I loved it. Um, I, I definitely want to really, come back. I <laughs> really, really had a lot of fun. There were so many yeah. great storytellers out. Uh, these and sort of like really mini good. shows, they're really good. Um, yeah. A lot of great people, a lot of great performances. The food was awesome. We tried, there was so much. There was so many food items. We're gonna have to come back here and do like 10 episodes of all the different cool, delicious stuff. Like I can't recommend this place enough. And like it's, had... it feels so much different than the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. I thought it was just gonna, I thought it was gonna kind of just feel the same, like yeah. the same kind of foods, but just like slightly different. I feel like all the foods are super different and I'm mm, like good. dying to try them all. There's so many good things we have. So many, like we walked past yeah. so many places that had things that I was like, I gotta try that, I wanna try that, I wanna try that, I wanna try that. Um, and then there's all these little like storytellers and performers that are yeah. woven throughout the whole thing where you just kind of stop and you get like a little treat. Um, I loved it. Our first time ever doing the Festival of the Holidays at Epcot and I loved it. Me too. I thought it was awesome. So I can't wait to come back. Uh, yeah, so I can't <laughs> wait to come back. There's a lot more to do. Um, so stay tuned. We're gonna in some of the future episodes. We're gonna take a look at. We're gonna do the Ep the Olaf's expedition trail there. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do the cookie stroll. Uh, we're gonna try some other food things. We're gonna get some more of the storytellers on video. We'll show you a few more of those. We're gonna do the candlelight processional at some point coming up. So a lot of great episodes coming up around the holidays just in here in Epcot. And that's just it's just here in Epcot. Forget like don't forget about all the other parks that we've got to do. Um, and there's Universal and stuff too. So awesome time thanks for joining us um until next time don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like any of these videos comment like us. Um, <laughs> and don't forget comment below and let us know if there's anything that you've seen online any of the um food items things that you think we should try that you're like that sounds weird i want them to try that <laughs> like just t comment below and let us know we'll, we'll give it a shot um we'll try anything uh, so we'll try anything once after that it's a, it's a no-go if it's so good uh so anyway thanks for joining us until next time the noble way is the easy way bye bye everybody